When you come into the React world, props is a term you hear and use a lot as you build components for your applications. But what are props in React? In this very simplified video, I'll be using examples to explain what props are in React. Props in React is short for properties. So when you say props of a component, you're referring to the properties of that component, which can also mean the attributes of that component. I have this simple React project, which I'll use to explain props. But before that, let's look at an example in HTML. HTML has a bunch of elements. Let's pick the IMG element. This IMG element is used for adding images to your application and it accepts different attributes, which you can also call properties or props. One of those attributes is SRC, which is the source of that image. I'm just going to add this image of myself here. You can also accept a width property. Here we pass 100. It can also accept a height property. We pass 100 again. It can also accept an ID property. Of course, a bunch of elements in HTML can accept the ID property as well as the class property or attributes. And if we come here, this is the result on the screen. So the same way attributes apply to HTML elements is the same way props applies to components in React. So let's say I create a, a component here. I'm going to call this style button and I'm going to import react and I'm going to export default style button. And for now, I'm just going to return a button element. And then here in this app.js, I'm going to import my newly created component style button. And I'm going to have style button here like this. Now we have this React component and this component can accept props. Just as we saw with this IMG element, we can also pass props to this component. So for example, we can pass a label prop and here I'm just going to add my name Dillion. We can also pass a size prop and in this size prop, I'm just going to give it a number as three and we can also pass an ID prop and here I'm going to say submit button. So for this react component style button, we have passed three props or you can say three attributes, which is label size and ID. Now if we come back to the screen and okay, this is the one for the react app. If we refresh, you can see this is the tiny button here, but we are not showing the label. We are not doing anything with the size. We're not doing anything with the ID. So even though we are passing this as props to the style button component, we have not yet defined in this style button component what props to expect. For example, when we come back here, we know that the ING element expects these props. Let's say we pass a prop that this IMG element does not expect. Let's say we pass a decode prop and here we say decode. If we come back here and we check here, you can see the ING element does nothing with that prop because even though you passed it as a property, it didn't expect it. So how do you define in this component what props to expect? Well, whatever props you pass to this component will be available as an argument to this style button function component. So you can give a parameter here called props. This is what people usually call it, but you can call it whatever you like. So when you pass props to this component, it will be available on this argument. So here we can specify what props we're interested in. So we can say we are interested in the label property. We can also say we're interested in the ID property. We can also say we're interested in the size property. But for this example, I'm going to act like we are not interested in that property. So here in the button, I can place the label prop. And for the ID, I can say button ID, and then I can pass this ID that comes from the props. So now we have been able to define what we expect for this style button component. So when we go back here now and we pass this label prop of Dillion, that means Dillion is going to be here. When we pass this size of three, this component does not expect it. So it's not going to do anything with that prop. And when we pass this ID of submit button, we know that this component actually expects that prop. We go back here and we refresh, you can see Dillion. And if I inspect it, let me zoom in here. You can see the ID is submit button because we actually do something with the ID. So props can be of any data type. It can be a string as we see here. It can be a number as we see. It can also be an array. It can also be an object. But one more example of a prop I want to show you is a function prop. So let's say we have a function here which says when button is clicked. This is our function. And all we are going to do is say console.log button is clicked. 
Now what we expect is that when you click on this button, we want this function to be called. How do we do that? Well, here in this style button, we can declare that we expect a function property. So here we can say button clicked and here we can say props.button clicked, which means we expect the button click prop. So here we can now say on click, which is available on the button element. And then we can pass this function prop, which is button clicked. So when you click on this button, then it's going to execute this function prop. So back here in app.js, we can now define a function. So here we have button clicked, which is the prop that this style button component expects. And here in button click, we can now pass when button is clicked. So I have when button is clicked like this. So now we have passed four props to style button. We have passed button clicked, which is a function prop and the component expects this prop. We also pass label, the component expects label. We also pass size. The component does not expect size. It's not going to do anything with size and we've passed ID and the component expects ID. So if we come back here now and refresh, I'm going to open the console. If you click on this button, you can see button is clicked. Why is that the case? Because when you click on this button, we're going to execute this function prop and this function prop coming from app.js is assigned to this function, which logs button is clicked. So we have seen how props works in React. And like I said, it's just the way we have attributes in HTML. That's the same way we also have properties in components. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like share and subscribe and also turn on notifications for more concepts in react i'll be simplifying